So today I wanna to show you a use case of AI LLM technology that you can do right now to dramatically improve your overall performance in various research-related fields or research-related tasks. So what I'm interested in here as part of a broader research study that I'm doing is I wanna get an understanding of the sort of the historical timeline of the evolution of YouTube, YouTube's partner programs, YouTube's revenue sharing model. I wanna get a sense for where, where we came from and, and how we got to this point where, where attention can be monetized so effectively on these digital platforms and on, on, on a platform like YouTube to the point where it's so profitable, it can even be a viable career path for individuals. So what I've done is I've, I instructed the LLM to come up with a action plan, a research plan that utilizes the tools available to it. In this case, this tool is called WebGPT. It's a custom GPT for ChatGPT+, powered by a technology called Web Requests. And now you'll notice that it mentions this like WeGPT AI plugin scrape URL endpoint. This is just a technical term that the machine is using. But the point is, it's enumerating out sort of a, an action plan. It's step-by-step -step thinking for how it's going to collate this data, collect this data, and then how it's going to be able to synthesize that research into a sort of thesis, into a sort of report and a conclusion at the end. Now, one best practice that's going to serve you very well whenever you're setting up any sort of autonomous AI agent like this to do a, an elaborate multi-step task is ensuring that it has a plan of action to adapt to any unforeseen circumstances that might arise with interacting with dynamic web resources. When we're talking things like failed page loads, incomplete responses, paginated results, we don't want anything that might get the LLM stuck or, or feel like it's, it's blocking itself or making further progress on the overall task at hand. So in AI parlance, this is often referred to as prepping or priming your LLM before you actually execute your prompt to initiate the task itself. So I feel like between the original research plan and this adaptive protocol, that WebGPT is prepared to begin executing on this research and collecting the data itself. So each one of these purple actions is the LLM utilizing an external resource to supplement its knowledge. And as it turns out, it's a good thing we prepared for failed page loads like this. So WebGPT kind of updates us on the current status of its research and it creates a little action plan for adapting to this missing resource. So I cut back in and approve its plan of action and ask it to continue. And based off this research, WebGPT is able to put together a preliminary narrative about what the evolution of YouTube's monetization and partner program looked like, as well as its impact on creators on the platform. Now, this preliminary report isn't really presented as a timeline accounting of events, so I do suspect that that information was included in the data that it collected, and so I ask it to put it in that format, and it produces this. Now, we are off to a great start, but another thing that I know that WebGBT supports is the code interpreter for writing Python code, and I want it to make me an actual infographic representation of this timeline of events. Now let's just skip forward for brevity. And boom, there's our visual timeline of events, and it even includes, as requested, the annotated accounting of the labels.
Now, you might recall from earlier in this research that these MCNs were mentioned, multi-channel networks, and they played a pivotal role of YouTube's evolution, but I didn't see them mentioned in our timeline. After deciding to do a couple more supplemental research calls, WebGPT then produced this. Naturally, I wanted this to be included in the infographic, so I go ahead and ask WebGPT to do that as well. And just like that, the MCN era of YouTube slotted right in between the 2007 and 2013 gap. WebGPT finishes writing out its abstract, forming a conclusion, and I hope this has been a great use case demonstration of how LLM can dramatically improve your overall efficiency. All told, this conversation took me in real time about 10 minutes to do, and it performed and consolidated down probably an hour or two's worth of research and writing into minutes. WebGPT is available for free in the ChatGPT Custom GPT store, and you can visit plugin.wegpt.ai if you want to learn how you can integrate web request technology into your LLM workflows.